Star Wars, The Bad Batch sets up a adventurous return as a hero. Star Wars, The Bad Batch has the opportunity to set up a adventurous return as a hero in the established canon. Although she first appears in the Star Wars timeline as a Sith assassin serving Count Dooku, Ventress history and fate during the Clone Wars make her far more complex than a simple villain. To that end, Ventress' imminent return in the Bad Batch may continue her redemption arc seen in the Clone Wars as well as in Dark Disciple written by Christy Golden. In the middle of the Clone Wars, Darth Sidious orders Dooku to eliminate Ventress. Following Dooku's rejection, Asajj reunites with the Night Sisters on her homeworld of Dathomir. Following a handful of failed assassinations against Dooku and the massacre of her sisters, Ventress becomes a bounty hunter before eventually forming a romance with the Jedi Quinlan Voss, and she seemingly gave her life in Dark Disciple to save him. However, the Bad Batch Season 3's trailer confirms Ventress is alive and set to return, and a heroic arc has already been set up by the new Star Wars show. As seen in the episodes of The Bad Batch Season 3 released thus far, it's been confirmed that Project Necromancer is well underway at the dawn of Palpatine's Galactic Empire. Seeking to provide the Emperor with viable clone host bodies for his spirit to be transferred into in the event of his death, the key is creating clones that are also Force-sensitive. However, it's a task that's easier said than done due to most Midish Lorian count samples either diminishing or degrading the clone body. To that end, The Bad Batch Season 3, Episode 8 confirms that the Empire has opened contracts for M-Count targets. It seems as though they constantly need new donors as the Empire's Advanced Science Division keeps teasing various blood samples in the hopes of finding a match with the right genetic markers that can maintain a high enough M-Count for Pal Patton's needs. This explains why Omega is so coveted by the Empire with the confirmation that her blood has the right genetic traits to successfully accept an M-count transfusion, exactly what they need for Project Necromancer. It also explains why there was an Imperial bounty out for Gragu in the Mandalorian due to his extremely high M-count. To that end, it seems as though most M-count bounties were for Force-sensitive children. Not only would they be easier to capture and contain, but they'd also be able to provide samples for longer durations. This dark concept also ties back to the bounty hunter Cad Bane who at one point was kidnapping Force-sensitive children for Pal Patton during the Clone Wars, and is also set to return in the Bad Batch Season 3.